Hey guys, Ryzen here. Welcome back to another short tutorial. So today we'll be covering a very common issue that we face after unwrapping and trying to texture on it. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys what I exactly I mean. You see this, right? Suppose we, you know, just unwrap it. Um, not like that. Okay. Don't do it like that. I wanted to show you that you don't have to do it like that. But um, just you know, unwrap it, and I'm gonna show you what message we get. Okay, you see here. Uh, can you guys see it? Um, I don't. Okay, let me. I'll have to zoom in on it to actually show you. Okay. Um, basically. Um. Okay. Let me move my avatar. All right, all right. Now check this out. Okay, so I need you guys to focus on the message that appears over here where my cursor is showing. Okay, you guys can see my cursor, right? Yeah, yeah, you can. All right. So um, when you unwrap the material, suppose just unwrap it, right? You'll see this message called object has a non-uniform scale. Unwrap will operate. Read that again. Unwrap will operate on non-scaled version of the mesh. What does non-scaled means? Well, you don't have to worry about that. Basically, um, basically, this this object, this whole object that you see is non-uniform. Okay, that means it's not proportional. Okay. Some parts are, you know, not properly proportional. Even though we use proportional editing, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. We can fix that. If you ever encounter such a issue, and I'm, I am encountering an issue like this now when I am doing the hat here. So I go back to object mode. All right, and there will be object. I think it was yeah. Okay select the object i yeah select the object and click on this object button over here and you'll see apply okay click on apply and there will be some options so it says it's in non-uniform scale that means we need to make it uniform so we need to apply scale to it so click on scale all right don't have to worry about this um I don't really mess around with this but um you can if you uh, uh depending on need so i'm gonna head over to edit view again and unwrap it now boom okay now what's this we got uh somewhat of a i guess i guess a cleaner much cleaner unwrap now why i did that well let me show you now, if I try to texture paint, create new material, a uh, new texture, and you can color it all the way. Okay. Now, before, if you're you know not doing and didn't do the scaling, it would you know uh, not texture properly. I should have shown that problem first, but um, I suppose we'll just work with this. Okay. Even after UV unwrapping, like, you know, marking with seam and all of that, you need to make sure that this whole object is actually properly scaled, okay? If it's not scaled, then it won't, the blender won't know. Blender won't know wh where the uniform, uh, uniform, you know, thing is going on. Uniform scaling is going on for the object, okay? So, as you can see in the, in the you know, UV map right here, it's in circles and it's all proper now we can all the way you know color stuff at it okay so yeah i mean if you want you can go ahead and you know mark them as sim let's let's do it now actually let's see what happens all right uh my bad uh mark it as sim and select all unwrap and you'll see perfectly oval shape thing right 
so yeah that's it for the tutorial and you can you know go ahead and texture paint all you want all over it the problem is that you know uh, for this problem occurs only for irregular shapes okay or maybe when you join two different meshes like i did with cylinder and a spear so keep that in mind whenever you are joining meshes or messing around with the shape and making uh, making the shape irregular you might want to go ahead and go to object view and go to object apply and choose scale to make everything uniform over here okay so yeah that's it for the tutorial and i hope you guys actually found this useful okay i'm gonna put this in the link i put put the link of this video in the uh, in the comment section of the previous unwrapping video because i think that's a very important continuation okay so yeah this is a pretty important issue that i face so yeah i hope it uh, gets i hope it's a good solution for you guys and yeah i'll see you guys on the next tutorial i hope you guys found it useful if you found it useful drop a like and subscribe if you want to so yeah i'll end this video right here and i'll see you guys on the next tutorial see ya